Okay, uh, YouTubers, we're now into the fourth chapter of doing our Tron-like animation or adding our Tron-like effects to our model. So right now we've added texture. That was chapter three. Chapter four, we're going to add the infamous glow. When everybody thinks of Tron, they think of the glow. So at the end of the lesson, this is what you're going to have. Okay, now let's get started. I don't want to take 20 minutes like I did last night. Um, so here we go. So first, we don't need the UV editor anymore. So let's change it to the node editor. I'll show you in a minute how to use that. Let's go over here. We have to do some cool little things with layers. If you haven't worked with layers before, we're going to be doing a lot of it today. So click your character. Click. Uh, the circle and click your camera. Hit M. Hit Shift. Click. Okay. Now you'll notice these characters are in two layers. Your light, since we didn't bring it over, is not in the second layer. Alright. The next thing we need to do is let's get our node window ready. Click this. Composite nodes. Use nodes and backdrop. All right, and go to Add Output Viewer. So this is setting up the the node window. Okay, now that we have our window set up, we now need to set up multiple layers. How you do that is we're going to move this over here, and we're going to go to the Properties panel which you already see. I'm just looking for the name the Properties panel. Now in here we need to go to Layers. Okay, as you can see there's only one layer. We want to first highlight two screens and make this layer only the first one. And we're going to call this the Normal Layer. And I'm going to make a new one and this one's going to be called the Glow Layer. Okay. Normal layer I only want to do in the first layer. The glow layer I want to do the second layer. Also, I want to remove from the glow layer all ambient light. Okay? So now I'm going to go over to my node window. And I'm going to make another one of these. I can do it two way. I, I can hit Shift D, which will make another one, or I can say Add Input Render Layer. Okay? I'm going to pick Glow. Hit F12 to render. This should render both of them. And I want to show you the difference between the lenders, uh, the renders. So the grow layer, grow, glow layer will look like this. And the regular, the normal will look like this. So this is the beginning. The next thing we need to do is we need to adjust the glow layer just a little bit. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The glow layer looks like this. What we need to do is remove this gray. To do this, we go to Sky. Oh, we go back to the Properties. Go to Glow Layer, not Normal, and remove Sky. Now when we hit F12, you know, that's the glow and that's the normal. And now you can see this is what the normal looks like. So it's just the glow stuff, which is very cool. All right. Now, let's let's make some cool glow effects. So the first thing I like to do, I've been playing around with this. Different things do different effects. The glare is a pretty cool effect. So let's, let's try playing with that. To, to do that, you drag the image over to the image slot and the image over to the image slot. So now you can see nothing's happening. So the way we do this is we lower the threshold and wow we got lots of stuff happening. Let's decrease this a little bit. The other thing I like to do is never, if I use glare, I don't like to use the right angles. You can change the angles by changing the angle offset. So it's a little bit more like that. Um, if you like this, this is very cool. But it may sh 
it may not be exactly what you're looking for. Another effect that I like to add is uh, the blur. And this is really straightforward. Uh, sometimes it doesn't do as cool of a job, but it, it's very effective. So what I can do is add the X and Y blurs that I want. Remember, we don't want this to be... This is probably pretty good. I don't know. This looks pretty good. So let's go with that. So there's, there's a pretty good glow effect. The next thing we need to do is merge it back to the regular image. So we add a mix. We're going to put it right there. We drag image to the bottom image, and we drag this top image to the top. And then we drag this again to the viewer. And there we go. And let's, let's show the difference. If we just looked at the regular image, this is what it looks like. If we do the mix, this is what it looks like. You can adjust how much glow we have to the figure. I think this is a good amount. So let's go from here. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to render it, and, I'll, and then we'll have a final product. So as you see, that is a very short lesson. And now your character has glow effects. Let's do one big render to the screen so we can all see. Um, and then I'll call it, let's do it to full screen. And then I'll call it the end of the lesson. And is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? No! Okay, let me explain why I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, see this mixer? It's going to the viewer. What we need to do is have this mixer also go here. Now it'll work. So let's try it one more time. A lot of working with Blender is just experimenting around. Have fun. You're not going to break anything, and if you do, just save a lot. And there you go. There is your glow effect. So we'll call that a day for Chapter 4.